keep it going right now. Uh, it's kind of coming to the stage uh, from Detroit City. Woo! And they say, I'm not racist. I have a black friend. I'm that black friend. And, and, and white guys like to hang out with me, you know, because I help them look cool and I, I teach them all the latest dance moves and shit, I can't even dance. They think I can. And I like hanging out with them too, you know, because I like to show them that Black men can be positive, fuck, I'm lying. I just like drinking for free. Cause a white dude will buy you a drink and he doesn't even have to know your name. A black guy would buy you a drink only when he's trying to get laid. So fellas, if your black friends try to buy you a drink, you better watch your back, literally. Yeah, and since I hang out with a lot of white dudes, you know, white women, they pay a lot of attention to me. And I love white women, it, it's in my DNA. I can't get enough of those thin lips and flat butts. Mm. But the white women say some really fucked up shit to me. You know, they say things like, what does your name mean in Ebonics? I mean, Mateen, you're black, but you're not like black, black. Look, I got a tag. Right? And we're about to have sex. And she pulls out this banana. And I'm thinking like, what the fuck is she gonna do with this banana? So she turns to me and she says, show me how you want me to suck your cock. Cause that's what white girls call it, a cock. And I said, what? She said, show me. I said, give me that banana. We love it, even if it's smart. Oh. So, um, I just turned 30, and I got fucking wasted at my party. And I, I blacked out, right? And I uh, apparently I had accidentally called my grandmother. Yeah, and I, I told her how much I love eating pussy. So I get a call the next morning. Why do you call me last night talking about how much you love eating pussy? Pussy so tasty. <laughs> this is my grandma that just said pussy face. <laughs> well, that's all right you say you like eating pussy, baby. You get that from your granddaddy. <laughs> True story. Are you guys a, you guys a couple? Any couples? Couples? Like couples in the audience. Yeah. Well, my girlfriend, she's about to be a doctor. Woo. Woo. Yeah, yeah, she's graduating magna cum laude. I graduated, thank you, laude. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my, uh, <laughs> you know, I like white women, but my girlfriend has a little more flavor. She's an uh, Indian. Yeah. Ass, right? So I'm her little black secret. So she worries that when we go out, we might see her relatives. So I haven't had a fucking Slurpee in two years. Two years. And she always complains to me like how bossy her mom is. You know, her mom tells her like, don't date black men. They don't pay their bills. They don't save their money. And 
and she's telling the truth, but I'm trying to get my shit together. Why do you think I'm dating a doctor? <laughs> Bossy as fuck too. An Indian man, I, you probably know this. I don't know if it's because she's Indian or the fact that she's um she's a, oh she's a woman and that's what fucked all that crew. You know, she's always like, don't do this, Mateen. Don't do that, Mateen. Mateen, stop letting the dog lick peanut butter off in her nuts. And no, she doesn't have Parkinson's. This is just shit Indian women do. You see, the team likes dogs too. He ain't no cat guy, he ain't a cat with that, with that weird rough tongue, right? <laughs>